Remember we said that we were going to cover two major topics in this statistics class, probability and inferential statistics. We said that probability is the study of the likelihood of different events. We had some rules of probability, and we talked about random variables and their distributions in conjunction with those probability rules. Then we talked about inferential statistics which we said is the set of techniques that let us draw inferences about a larger population based on a smaller sample. We discussed confidence intervals and hypothesis testing as ways of drawing inferences about the population. But even inferential statistics is based on probability. For example, the margin of error in a confidence interval is based on the standard deviation of the probability distribution of the sample statistic. And several of the techniques that we discussed require the assumption of normality in the sampling distribution. Probability distributions pervade this course. And we've always made assumptions about these probability distributions. For example, in our conversations about continuous random variables, we assume that a random variable x that models time to failure for a piece of equipment follows an exponential distribution. We just stated it, assumed that it was true, and then calculated probabilities of particular failure time intervals given the assumption of an exponential distribution. And during our conversations of statistical inference, we would assume that the normality assumption was good. We never really looked into any of these assumptions. Let's rectify that issue in this unit and learn how to turn sample data into a probability distribution and then test if that distribution is a good one. The topic of turning sample data into a probability distribution is addressed with the method of maximum likelihood. The method of maximum likelihood essentially works like this. For a given data set, we say that if these data follow a particular distribution, what are the best parameters that maximize the likelihood that those data were sampled from that distribution? That sounds a little weird, but we'll talk about it more. For example, say we collect some failure time data for a particular aircraft component. Let's assume that the data follow an exponential distribution. We would use the method of maximum likelihood to tell us the optimal lambda value that would maximize the likelihood that our failure time sample came from an exponential distribution. Sometimes this is a straightforward calculation, sometimes it's not. We'll talk about the solver function in Excel to help us out with this. The topic of testing if the distribution is a good one is just as important. The method of maximum likelihood doesn't know whether the sample came from a particular distribution. It just tries to give us the optimal parameters if the data did come from that distribution. We need a way of testing how good of a fit that distribution is to our sample. This comes in the form of a goodness of fit test. For example, now that we have the optimal exponential parameter lambda that fits our failure time data, we can perform a statistical test that lets us know if an exponential distribution is really the best distribution. Many statistical software packages have the ability to compare our sample data to several different candidate probability distributions in a matter of seconds. But this is a college class. So we need to understand the method of maximum likelihood and goodness of fit tests with brute force using Excel.